uh, at Crest Santa Clara or Mountain View very often because a lot of you guys aren't very good at it, and so it's very challenging to put into workouts. Now, does that mean we shouldn't do it? No, it just means that it really switches things up. For example, if I want to overhead squat at 100 pounds, most of you guys can't do that, so all of a sudden now you're just doing the bar, and so it changes the workout. So the way I want to start implementing overhead squats is by doing technique work, similar to what we're going to do here in a minute, using the bar or whatever we may be to develop the shoulder mobility and the midline stabilization to be able to overhead squat. Before we move on, I just want to talk about the key components of an overhead squat. A lot of you guys are missing out on this portion. The first thing I want to talk about is what's called the overhead position. A lot of you guys are in the overhead position, you guys look like so. Your shoulders rotate over like this. So if you look at from the back, it's kind of like I look like a, I don't know, a turtle or whatever you want to call it. What I'm really looking for is for an active position where I'm driving it up. Almost like a martini glass versus like whatever this is, the wine, yeah, wine, whatever this is, okay? I'm really trying to drive it up. Robbie, thank you for joining us, okay? So now, from the front, what I really want you guys to look at also is look at my armpit position. I drive my armpits forward and I press up into the sky. So my armpits are here, okay? And that bar is over what's called the frontal plane, directly over my body. Now the key component here that I want to talk about is at the start, the bar is over my body. So here's the bar, right? Here's my body, here's my head, here's my pelvis. The bar is directly over my body, and it's in a secure position. As I squat, the only thing I'm really thinking about, guys, is maintaining this over my heels. So the problem is a lot of us, when we squat, our torso drops a little bit. If we allow that bar to follow us, we're screwed. What you need to think about is keeping that bar back over your heels as you squat. So as you descend down, your torso angle changes a little bit, which is fine, okay? So what you guys are going to need to do is keep that bar directly over that heel so it has more support under it. And as you guys stand up, so you descend down, and as you stand up, you bring it back overhead, right? So it starts overhead, it finishes overhead. In between, it might have a slight deviation back, to keep it over that heel, because not too many of us can uh, squat with a fully vertical torso. It's very challenging to do. Does that make sense, guys? So today we're going to work it. What I want you to focus on is arms locked out, active shoulders, armpits facing forward. As you descend, the bar starts over my body, it stays over my body. As I drive back up again, it's back over my body again. Sounds good? Let's go ahead and break up into this room and that room. Let's go ahead and work the overhead squat. Ready? 